Hi guys and welcome back to part two of the news again to do with AMD. So over the past few days there were some news stories about AMD running some form of sort of press conference, secret press conference and I didn't cover that because I thought well you know what's the point they probably are running a secret like press conference but uh, you know that's not really news. It's that time of year where AMD like to build up towards CES that tends to be what they do. Um, but some news has come out today, so loads of people are covering it. Um, Pulse Hardware did a really, really good video about it, really quick. Um, so I just want to touch on it, because I've read a few articles now from Tweet Town and other people, but I, I'm actually on Radian's website at the moment. Um, so it's called Radian Instinct. It, so this is really Radeon, or AMD's, way of dealing with big data. So they point to the fact that every day 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is generated uh, and then how are we going to deal with that? How can business use that? How can we leverage that? Um, so to cut a long story short, essentially what they're doing is they're taking their GPUs and their upcoming uh, Naples CPU and they're um, linking them together into a product that companies can buy to deal with large data. Now, you might think, well, what's the point in like consumers like us knowing about that? Why do I care that AMD are selling servers with, you know, sort of almost hundreds of, of graphics cards in them just to, to deal with this data? Well, let's look at it like this. So there's a number of products they're going to be running. Um, so we all know about Naples. It's basically the, the, the new iteration of Opteron, if you like. So it's their, um, it's going to be Zen in a, in, a, in a server environment. So that's fine. Um, along with that, they're going to be offering um, three tiers of GPU, which is where the instinct comes in. So the first one is MI6, which uh, is 5.7 teraflops of compute power. 224 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth and less than 150 watts. So that sounds a hell of a lot like the um, RX 480 to me. Uh, and I think it is from what they've been talking about. Um, the MI8, which is 8.2 teraflops of compute power, 512 gigabits per second of memory bandwidth and 175 watts or less than 175 watts TDP. Now, AMD have already come out and said that that is essentially a um, what what we would have called a Fury Pro. So what's more interesting for me is the MI25, which AMD are stating on their website is going to be using Vega. So that's where we come in, guys. We might get some information about Vega. So this is the product here that um, they're going to be putting the MI25 into, which uh, wait for it has three petaflops of GPU compute power. So three petaflops is essentially 3000 teraflops. So in this uh, package, they're going to be packing 120 Radeon Instinct MI25 GPUs. So these GPUs are using Vega. We've already uh, established that. So, so if you simply divide three petaflops, so 3,000 teraflops of compute power by 120 MI25 GPUs, you get 25 teraflops. 25, a card that can deliver 25 teraflops of GPU compute power. That is absolutely unbelievable. Now, the one thing you've got to realize, and I didn't realize, I got very excited about this until I started digging about, is that what they're talking about when they're when they're talking about um, compute power there, they're actually talking in terms of 16-bit um, floating point calculations. So what we need to do to kind of get an idea of where that sits in comparison to NVIDIA is convert that into 32-bit floating point compute power. So all you have to do is take 25 and divide it by two, essentially, because there's two 16s and 32, and you get 12.5 teraflops of raw compute power. Now that is giving you more raw compute power than NVIDIA's current flagship, the Titan XP. Now I'm not saying that the card they're putting in this server here is going to be the card that they're going to be releasing to the consumer, but surely to God, it's a good sign that AMD are publicly, you know, this is public, so this is confirmed. 
you know, this is this has been pulled from their website. Um, you know, so there's, there's no bullshit here, guys. This is what the numbers AMD are stating that this card is going to basically provide 12.5 teraflops of raw compute power. Now, I'm sure that comes with a lot of caveats. And, and as we know, one of the main caveats is that raw compute power doesn't always convert linearly to gaming performance. But I think one thing, it makes me realize that AMD are actually serious at the moment. All the things they're doing at the moment, you know, with Polaris, Polaris was great when it came out. It's a really good um, kind of budget orientated card. And it's only getting better with driver releases. You know, the RX 480 is now leaving things like the GTX 1060 behind in terms of DirectX 12, and it's almost caught up with it in terms of DirectX 11 performance. Um, you know, so for me, this is a really good sign that Vega is actually real, that we are actually gonna see something from AMD um, that is gonna compete at the high end, this is a sort of upper to high end GPU market. And if anything, it makes me even more confident that Zen is gonna be a is gonna be a good thing, it's gonna be a success. And that's really it, guys. There's there's nothing else I really want to say about this. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about AMD's press conference tomorrow night. I advise you, as always, to go and have a read of these articles yourself. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. And if you're enjoying the, enjoying the content, as always, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you again in another great tech video. Bye now.